I, I was reading a lot about you, and I want to talk about this movie, uh, Darkest Hour. Yeah. Uh, it's just phenomenal how you transform into Winston Churchill. I mean, it's, I, I just can't believe it. I mean, just the way you're hunched over. I just, I, anyway, we'll get into that. <laughs> I read somewhere that you do impressions, too, as well, of other <laughs> actors. Is that true? Yeah, but I, I, they, they don't hang in the, in the Hall of Fame as great impressions. But I just do them to amuse myself, so... Uh, <laughs> I, I do well, every night. Yes. That's <laughs> all, yeah. I don't need an audience. <laughs> like, who, who, who well, would you Well, you know, do? I'll, uh, I'll see something... Um, I'll be driving in the car and I'll see Home Depot. And, um, and then suddenly I'm like, uh, like Bob, you know, um... De Niro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> I gotta get some screws. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, um, uh, or my, my son, Gulliver, he's, he's 20 and he's a lovely kid, but he just finds it very difficult to get up. Yeah. So he always says to me, I really need to be somewhere tomorrow. Will you, will you please, would you give me a call? And I'll go in and wake him up as, uh, you know, Al Pacino or, or Chris Walken, you know, and I say, uh, uh, Gully, uh, uh, come on. <laughs> You gotta get up, it's crazy. <laughs> Come on! That is Hall of Fame material, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I love you, man. Uh, uh, let's talk about Darkest Hour, yeah. because, uh, man, oh, man. Uh, did you think, like, when they, uh, they offered you this role, Winston Churchill, I mean, did yeah, you go, like, yeah. oh, I can't do that? I mean, I'm... Yeah. No, I do that with every part. You do? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you I, overthink it? Yeah, I, I think, well, I wouldn't cast me. Why don't they get someone else? Is that it, right? Yeah, it's part of how I have to, I think, now over so many years, and I do it almost every time, that I think it must be part of the process that I need to come from a place of... Uh, Self-loathing or something. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe there is something. Yeah, yeah there's something but, crazy about but, it. But, but, but Churchill, obviously, you're, you know, this iconic figure you're being asked to play, who uh, arguably the greatest Britain who ever lived. Yeah, you know, I to agree. some. I see you, and I don't even remotely no. see Winston Churchill. Like just it, right now. It, yeah. yeah. You know I mean, I see a studly man on the cover of magazines and a movie it star keeps... and a man. But when, I, like when, the, I like being called Stubbly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this. Look at the, what, look at this. Is that insane? That, that's Gary Oldman. <laughs> Isn't that unbelievable? What a great job they did. Uh, uh, makeup, yeah. I, I, here's yes. the one thing. First of all, just to act in general is hard. Trust me, I've tried. And uh, <laughs> I'll talk about those yeah. movies later. Uh, but uh, <laughs> then, then uh, how long would it, does it take to get those prosthetics on? It takes... Um, it's three hours, 15 minutes for the, for, the, for the face and the wig, and then with the padding and the suit and everything, it was just a little under four hours. Yeah, and so, then you have to go to work. And then you do a 12-hour <laughs> day, and then after the... And then it's an hour to take it off. I mean... It's, it, and it was a phenomenal job the, who, who did that. The, we went to... We found a guy... Um, it wasn't, it wasn't completely contingent on, on getting Kazuhiro, but I did say there was only one man in the world that could do this, and it's a guy called Kazuhiro Suji, and he's a Japanese artist, and he retired from the, um, he retired from the movie business because actors wouldn't sit still in the chair. Yeah, I would get too fit yeah, you. Yeah, Let's yeah, go, i got to do know, my scene and, and get out. And you've got to... So, anyway, I, he, he was local, um, and I said, please, please, please do this. Yeah. And um, I guess he's going to go back to being a fine artist now. And, <laughs> you know, but and I mean, uh, even uh, like the, the, the neck fat. No, the neck fat. I mean, see, you know what, right? No, I mean, neck. I watch for it. Yeah. If I see a bad wig or something, I'm out of the movie. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I don't buy it. But there's even like the pores in the skin and the, the thing. The close ups. And I, I go... mean, people would come to me on the set and like stand an inch from me and they would 
they would marvel at they couldn't work out where you know it started and I began and, you, or, yeah, it, and yeah, even, it, but then you become his mannerisms and yeah. and, and, and just walking and then walking with your hands behind your back which is only old people <laughs> do I think uh, it's like, no, no one does that anymore no one walks with their hands behind no. their back anymore they should bring that back uh, but you you do <laughs> that and, 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 yeah and I just and, and there's humor in it as well and a lot of things I didn't even and know but uh, you smoked all these cigars. I'm like, this is, I know it seems like silly, but if I smoke that many cigars, yeah. even as a joke, like, no, I, I would throw up. No, I had, no, I, I, I had nicotine poisoning. I got through $30,000 worth of cigars. They're real uh, cigars, uh, right? Yeah. yeah, they were the real Churchill cigars. And we, uh, we, we, we had a break over Christmas and people went to decorate their Christmas trees and do all of that. And I went and had a colonoscopy. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> what do you give the man that has everything? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a colonoscopy, there you go. Uh, uh, it's uh, Joe Wright is the director yeah. and did a fantastic yeah. job. Chris and Scott Thomas. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm, I'm so happy to see her in the movies Come again. Come back from uh, the theater her. and yeah. oh, I love her. Uh, and it's set basically f five weeks. Of, uh, uh, right? In five yeah, weeks. five very crucial weeks. It's 1940, set over the summer, the first, really, the t 20 days of uh, the premiership of Churchill. And uh, Hitler's on the move. And uh, Britain want to do a, a peace deal with Hitler. They want to sort of capitulate and make yeah. some kind of, I guess, some kind of living arrangement, you know, that, wouldn't, that would definitely not have worked out. Of course. Yeah. And it was one man... Churchill, who, who said, uh, no, we're, we're, we're not giving up everything we have, we're going to fight. Ugh. And uh, it changed the course of civilization.